Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to make Biko glutinous rice cake. This is a traditional Filipino recipe. But anyone the world over can make it. Here's the ingredients you will need. Three and a half cups of glutinous rice or sweet rice. Two cans of coconut milk. If you have fresh coconut, you can use it instead of coconut in a can since it is more healthy for you. One and a half cup brown sugar. Half teaspoon salt. One and a half cup water for cooking the glutinous rice. Now that you gathered all your ingredients, here's the procedures you need to follow. First, you need to wash the rice. Wash it and pour the water three times. Next, add one and a half cup of water. Next, place it in a rice cooker like this and let it cook. Next, turn on the stove top on high heat and get a wok like this. Then pour the coconut milk. Then let it boil for 20 minutes. Occasionally stir the coconut milk so that it does not stick to the wok. When the coconut milk boils, put the stove top on medium heat. And then continue to boil for another 15 minutes. The scum of the coconut milk has come out. The scum of the coconut milk in Tagalog is lactic. Let it cook until it becomes golden brown. Now that the lactique is golden brown, remove it from the wok and place it in a strainer. The reason why you do this is so that the oil will drip into the strainer. You will use this lactique to garnish the biko later. Once you place it in a strainer, Place it aside for now. Now that the glutinous rice is cooked, add the glutinous rice to the wok. Make sure that the stove top is on medium heat. Stir it occasionally so that it does not stick to the wok. The glutinous rice is not easy to stir, but be patient since this is a delicious recipe. Now add the salt. And continue to stir. Now add the brown sugar. Continue to stir. Mmm, yummy. The glutinous rice and all the ingredients have been mixed together. And now all we have to do is bake it. Here's an interesting fact. You can actually eat the glutinous right now since it's cooked. However, we are going to continue on to the next step 
and bake this recipe. Having said that, we are going to put banana leaf on the baking pan. Next, put the oven on the bake position. And put the oven on 375 degrees Fahrenheit. While your oven is preheating, put the glutinous rice in the baking pan. Next, use a spatula to flatten the glutinous rice. Now that we have flattened the glutinous rice cake, place it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Now that it's 20 minutes, you can remove the biko from the oven. Let it cool down for 5 to 10 minutes before you slice it. Serve and eat it. Now that the biko has cooled down, you can cut the biko with scissors into squares and then garnish with scum of coconut milk or in Tagalog they call this latik. So as you can see here we are cutting the biko, the glutinous rice. Now that you have placed the biko on a serving dish, garnish with latik on top. Well guys, your biko recipe is ready to serve and eat. In English, this recipe is called glutinous rice cake. It's a traditional Filipino recipe. But anyone can eat this recipe, not just Filipinos. It's a really good dessert and snack. This recipe goes good with milk, coffee, or soft drinks. And my mother-in-law made this for me when I went to the Philippines. I just would like to say Happy Easter to everyone the world over. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you try this recipe. If you like the videos that I make for you guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share, and favorite all my YouTube videos with others. If you have a recipe request, please email me. My email address is peter at oanderfire.com. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at p oanderfire. Follow me on Facebook. My Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash oanderfire tv. Happy eating. Bon appetit. Bye for now. See you in the next video.